Hello children, welcome to Math Park. Today we are going to solve multiple choice questions from exercise 17a, the topic circles, and uh, uh, exercise 17b from the book Concise Selena, class 9 ICSE. So after going through this video, if you like it, please do not forget to share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. So we start with 17a, question number one, the multiple choice question, the first one. The cord of length 6 cm is drawn in a circle, so let us take a chord. The length of this chord is say 6 cm. A circle of diameter 10 cm. So the radius of this circle is going to be, the radius is going to be 5 cm. So this is our radius. So let us drop a perpendicular from the uh, center. Perpendicular from the center. So this is the center of a circle. And the perpendicular from center bisects the chord. So the length of the chord was 6 cm. So this is 3 and 3. And we need to find the distance from the center of the circle. So we know that 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triplet. This is how the answer is 4 centimeter. The second question. Uh, in the given figure shows two concentric circles. Uh, AD is a chord. The relation between AD and CD is okay. So let's drop a perpendicular. And we know that the perpendicular from center bisects the chord. So let us take this AM. So we have AM is equal to DM. So this is our equation one. Second, again, let us take the chord BC. So we have BM is equal to CM. This is equation two, subtract one and two. So when you subtract this, AM minus BM, you get it as AB. And DM minus CM, you get it as CD. This is how we have AB is equal to CD is the correct option. The third part of the 17A, in the given figure, chord AB is larger than chord CD. So AB is larger. Relation between OM and ON. So if it is the, the equal chords are equidistant from the center, these two chords are not equal. So this uh, rules out. OM is equal to ON, not possible. Since the chord, larger chord will definitely be closer to the circle. So that is how you get OM is less than ON. OM is going to be less than ON. This is the correct option. OM is less than ON. And ON is the correct option. Got it? Because the longest chord will be closer to the center. Okay. The next, uh, the D part, the line joining the midpoints of two chords of a circle passes through the center, then the chords are. Okay. Let us take two chords. So we have these two chords, say A, B, and C, D. So if, since it is MCQ, you have to be very quick enough to find out. So I'm just, because I have to explain, I'm showing you A, B, and C, D are two chords. We have another chord CD here. So CD is another chord. And the line joining the midpoints of this M and N. This is passing through the center O. So we know that the perpendicular from center. No, this is the perpendicular from center. Okay. And this is the perpendicular from center. So 90 degree. Alternate angles are equal. That is how these lines are parallel to each other. The chords are parallel to each other. The last. <coughs> Sorry. The last MCQ of uh, 17A, the given figure O and O dash are the centers of two circles. You have AB is parallel to O, O dash is parallel to CD. And which of the following is not true? So AB is equal to 2 O, o dash. How does this happen, you know? So if I try to drop a perpendicular from here, it bisects the chord. Perpendicular from center bisects the chord. So let us say this is AM and say this is here, say this is, oh sorry, OM and this is O dash N. So when you drop a perpendicular, we know that the perpendicular from center bisects the chord. That is how you get AM is equal to PM. And you will get AM is equal to PM. And then similarly, you will get here BN is equal to PN. And uh, when you try to find AB, so you, if you have to find AB, AB is equal to, you get AB is equal to twice PM plus twice PN. And then we get twice P, M plus P, N. And which is opposite sides of rectangle are equal, which you get twice O, O dash. So similarly, you will get C, D is equal to twice O, O dash. And you will also get, this is how you will get A, B will be equal to C, D. So ruled out, which is not true, you get A, B is not equal to C, D is the correct option. It is not true in the given figure. Let us start with exercise 17 B, the first one. Uh, choose the correct options. So in the given figure, arc APB is equal to arc CQD. So if you have arc APB is equal to arc CQD, then, then you will have 
ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी डी सो इक्वल आर्क्स subtend equal angles and that is how since the arcs are equal the chords are equal so we have ab is equal to cd if the arcs are equal the chords are equal exercise 17 b the second mcq in the given figure o is the center of a circle and angle cod is greater than angle eb if angle cod is greater then the chord that is the arc will be greater so arc uh the chord which is formed within that arc is going to be greater so you get cd is greater than ab so this is how you get ab is less than cd is the correct option the third mcq in the circle o is the center and ab cd are two chords if ab is to cd is 3 is to 2 then the ratio between their angles is also 3 is to 2 fourth mcq in the given figure o is the center of a circle and abc is an equilateral triangle we have to find angle aob so aob is this is what the angle we have to find out and each angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degree and we have a property of a circle that angle subtended by an arc so ab is an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it on remaining part of circle So that is how you get angle AOB is double of sixty, which is hundred and twenty degree. So option four and the last MCQ we have in the given figure O is the center of the circle, and chord AB is to chord CD are in the ratio of pi is to three. So AB is subtending this angle, so these angles are going to be in the ratio of pi is to three as well. So if the angles are in the ratio of pi is to three, let us take those angles to be pi x and three x. And we are given angle DOC is sixty uh, degree. So that is that is how you get three x is equal to sixty. You get x is equal to sixty by three, which is twenty degree. You have to find angle O A O B, which is phi x. So phi times twenty, which is hundred degree, is the correct option. So children, if you like the video, please do not forget to share with your friends if you feel this is helpful. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.